Steve is here, and yeah, we're gonna try to um, review this uh, Tower of Fear from Mezco's uh, Five Points Mezco's Monsters. It looks like we got all our Universal friends. We've got the we got a mummy, we've got a Frankenstein, we've got a Frankenstein's monster, um, we got Dracula, uh, Vlad the Impaler, whatever you want to call him. Uh, we got a Wolfman, and then we got a sea creature, a Dagon or a Gillman or a creature from the Black Lagoon. But he's not really the creature from the Black Lagoon, so I guess there's there's certain rights and things to that and privileges and stuff. But yeah, Mezco, Mezco five points. Um, this box is freaking huge. Um, it's a, be a beautiful box. There goes the Death Star. Anyways, uh, yeah, the Tower of Fear. Then you look on the back, and uh, this is uh, all that it comes with and stuff. So you get a sea creature, werewolf, Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, the mummy. Um, I think this is the same Frankenstein's monster that we got uh, years ago that had the, uh, it was like glow in the dark and translucent. And then you get um, accessories, includes components for each monster, including a coffin that Dracula fits, can fit inside, a sarcophagus that a mummy can fit inside, lab equipment uh, that Frankenstein's monster can connect to, and um, and yeah, and much more. So yeah, standing at the at a monstrous 18 inches, a once assembled the retro playset diorama creates a decaying Carpathian castle with three floors. A dungeon, a main hall, and Frankenstein's lab. A coffin that Dracula can fit inside. A sarcophagus that the mummy can fit inside. Lab equipment, multiple landings for each figure to stand on, and much more. So yeah, I guess we get, we, it comes with stands too, so there you go. Anyways, um, we're going to get this thing open and check it out because I have to do my due diligence and justice to check this freaking thing out. Because um, that's what we do so here. gingerly lift up this thing right here and yeah there we go man it seems like we've got all our figures in there if you look if you give it a look see so there's your figures on this side on the other side we've got um all our other uh little cardboard components and stuff man so yeah here we go anyways i'm gonna get all this stuff out and open and we're gonna Just check it out before we get this thing going we're gonna go ahead and uh try to put this thing together i'm not gonna do this on cam we're gonna have to the magic of my uh janky editing will uh see what's up um this reminds me of the remco uh three inch figures the universal monsters play set it's funny because there's a place called paul bears press here in austin texas and they have that play set but they want i think they want 400 bucks for it i think uh, i think 400 or something i forgot maybe 200 but uh, i've been wanting to snag it from it for a while but it's just been sitting there so here's like a floor a wooden floor it's all cardboard mind you with webs and stuff um some rocks. Here's a rock formation with the skull on it. Here's another uh, kind of wall. Um, let's see. Okay, this looks like it's going to be pretty easy. It's like a pop-up thing going. There's a tentacle. There's, uh, I guess, the outside of the castle. There's some kind of, um, I don't know, big giant cat or monster in there. And then there's a picture of Vlad the Impaler, or Vlad Tepes. And, uh, and there's some more science stuff, some eyeballs and a brain and other things and tools and saws. There's some more um, kind of, uh, yeah, like just vials of stuff and medicine or chemicals or apothecary crap, stuff like that. Uh, there's also like scientific... Um, notations on the wall scribbled and stuff like that like a dna strand right there if you can see it and some books and skulls and there's another skull by some books and then if you pop it oh it just raises up like so and then you've got like a dungeon type thing going on right here some more skulls and stuff here's some guy chained some tentacles and stuff and yeah and it pops right up so that's pretty cool and uh yeah and here's the other side so yeah we'll go ahead and uh Read the instructions and get this thing put together. Back, man. we have our Tower of Fear put together, but lo and behold, I realized something, man. This is, this is pretty hilarious. We might have to do some shaky cam on this and uh, get in a little closer with uh, some of this stuff. But uh, give me a second, and we'll go ahead and do that. It's going to be shaky cam from now on. So let's go. Here we are, out. top Frankenstein's uh, monsters layer, and it looks like they didn't send us a, a tabletop. It looks like a lot of people didn't get tabletops because I called BBTS and I messaged Mezco. And, um, yeah, they didn't get, um, 
yeah, we didn't get uh, tabletops for the for his table. And there's this weird landing thing right here that sticks out. I'm not sure if I got that on there right, but I might have. I don't know. It's kind of weird and kind of funky. And it's got some double-sided tape or some stick it stuff or whatever, you know. So I don't know if I got that right or not, but either way. I don't know. It's still that Frankenstein that we had before, so he's pretty cool. Um, then we go down here, and here's good old Vlad the Impaler or Dracula. And there's this sarcophagus right there. And we've got this extra piece that we can put on him. We'll do that a little bit later. So that's freaking rad. He looks like a bat dude. That's awesome. And then you go down here. Got some extra rock formations that it came with, but it didn't give a damn table. So literally we have a bone to pick with Mezco. I already messaged him and I talked to um, one of our awesome customer service reps at BBTS, at Big Bad Toy Store. And it, uh, apparently nobody's getting that table or it's it's kind of a thing and he asked me if I watched a review on it or not and I was like nah because I don't really watch reviews <laughs> I was like yeah it's weird I do them but I don't watch them but anyways um just depends anyways it, uh mummy comes with this cool little cobra also comes with this little Anubis um jar thing I guess you put ashes in it or something or some kind of um some kind of stuff in it man I don't know and here's another little jar with a bird on it with some hieroglyphics and stuff so we can get a closer look at those hieroglyphics. Maybe it says something. Maybe it means something. Who knows? Anyways, and um, here's a little tablet. Not a tablet, but a scroll. Some ancient scroll. Some ancient Egyptian scroll. And there's the gill man. The gill man also comes with a little skull. We'll look at the figures a little bit closer in a second, but we're just kind of exploring the space right now. And uh, there's the wolf man right there. Freaking cool. And uh, yeah, it comes with the skull. Nice skull, man. And uh, two bones, like a femur bone and stuff. And maybe like a forearm bone or something. I don't know. Or a tibia, fibia, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But yeah, let's check out the other side. And then, um, oh yeah, and you can plug that little wire into Frankenstein right there, which is actually kind of cool. It's like, there's like a couple different holes you can plug them into and stuff. So that's pretty neat. But we didn't get the damn tabletop we're supposed to get. Oh, well. So let's uh, check, check out, out the other side. side or the front side of this uh, Carpathian Castle, the Tower of Fear. So yeah, there's the gill man coming out of this little sewer thing with those tentacles right there. Um, there's another little entryway, which is pretty cool. You can also stand figures on top of this area right here. And there's um, good old Dracula right on this balcony right here. And then up top is good old Frankenstein just saying hello. And yeah, there's that landing again, which is weird. I guess I got it on there right, who knows. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool set. Besides not getting the table, but I'm not bummed because if I'm not the only one, and then you have these rock formations, which I need to get some double-sided tape, where you can like double, uh, can like tape these to different parts of the building and stuff. You got three of them, but we didn't get the damn table. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and just check out the figures or just give a closer look to them. We're back, and this video took the better part of my day. I'm kind of annoyed with this code, dude. We we could have been done with this a long time ago, but no, we had to make phone calls and emails. Anyways, uh, here's a uh, Frankenstein's monster. The sculpt is awesome on this guy. Now you can see it in full detail, not like the glow-in-the-dark one. He's rad. And then you can take off the top of his head. And yeah, you can see his brain. That's rad, dude. And it just pegs right back in. That is freaking cool. And yeah, it's an awesome sculpt because the first one I had was just like the glow-in-the-dark one. You can attach this little cinder block to him stuff and they come with stands which is cool so yeah you got to give it up for mezco they do a pretty good job but i don't know they don't screw up too often but yeah they screwed up on this one but hey man all is forgiven because if i'm not the only one getting screwed over pss, that's cool with me man that's that's actually kind of funny when you think about it here's a uh, dracula freaking rad man it's pretty cool they're almost like little posable stations because they do have five points somewhat so yeah there you go five points yeah, he's cool. And I guess we can pop off his head, I believe. So let's see if we can do that. Or else you just, I think you just do this. Yeah, there you go. And he's like a Batman guy. So that's freaking cool, dude. So you just like pop that right on. And yeah, he's like a bat dude. That is freaking cool, man. Like, yeah, that's rad, dude. He's awesome. Freaking cool figure, man. Next up is our Dagon guy, or Gill Man, or Sea Creature guy. Comes with moss that you can put on him. And he's real shiny, man. Real metallic. He's got a real metallic sheen to him. Yeah, and this moss is all rubbery. Painted pretty well, too. Take that right on off or whatever. Yeah, he's got five points. So there you go, man. 
Freaking cool figure, man. The paint's great. It's freaking cool. And then he comes with the skull. Actually, I'm looking back on the stand. Ooh, got stuff going everywhere, man. But yeah, I was pretty pissed because I was looking for that table and I was like, man, there's no table. What the hell? And I, I was like, man, maybe I was flailing about the I wasn't flailing about the room, but you start second guessing yourself, you know? And it's like, maybe I did this, maybe I did that, maybe I did this. And you know what, Matt? You didn't throw it in the trash. You didn't flail about like a maniac. You just didn't get the damn table. And here's a, a sea creature skull that he comes with. Maybe this is a old girlfriend or something. He's mad, you know, because he misses her. Um, and here's a skull that the set comes with. You can put this anywhere in there. And there's the bones again. Make no bones about it. But you got a bone to pick with Mezco, that's for sure. Here's the mummy. The mummy looks pretty cool, man. I like him. Sculpt's pretty neat. Not gonna lie. Pretty neat sculpt. He's got the V cuts, though. I don't know. Some people hate on V cuts. But at least they give you a damn stand, so that's actually pretty cool. But yeah, he's not bad, dude. Ugh. And then he comes with this, um, is it a scarabus or whatever? I forget what uh, what you call it, man. A scarab necklace or whatever. I just put that on him for the hell of it. Maybe it controls him, you know? You never know. But yeah, he's cool, man. But yeah, he does have the V-cut legs. Like, like, like janky Star Wars figures from back in the day. Like the Power of the Force figures. So he does have those V-cuts. So I know some of you would be like, oh, V-cut, damn. That sucks. But oh well, it's all right, man. He's he's posed, man. He's poised. Anyways, and then once again, we get the little accessories. The little Egyptian accessories. Dude, I should have already eaten dinner by now, and I haven't. So <laughs> it's like, this is taking the better part of my day. Because for the next two days, I'm going to be doing birthday stuff with the old lady PETA. Because it's, it's going to be her birthday. And we're going to go check out Meow Wolf, which should be pretty cool. If any of you know what Meow Wolf is, it's some crazy, wacky, trippy art exhibit. So we're going to go check that out. Go do some traveling. And there's that um, that scroll. Piece of paper once again. with More hieroglyphics. And then here's our wolf man. He looks freaking cool. I like him. He's got a rip in his jacket. That's freaking cool. Five points, man. Five points. Anyways, we've got to do some size comparisons real quick because uh, I want to end this so I can eat some damn dinner. <laughs> Anyways, buddy, here's good old Ronnie James Dio. So if that gives you any idea, the size. And here's good old um, Zurin R uh, Batman. If that gives you any idea of the size of these figures. Let's see. We got any other uh, teeny tiny figures around here? We do. I think we have... We did. Oh, here's uh, Marion Ravenwood from the from freaking um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. So, yeah, she can hang out with them, too. So, if that gives you any idea of the scale or scope of these figures, it makes sense to me, man. They're five points, but they're not five inches. Anyways, um, once again, thanks for watching, y'all. And, um, yeah, more reviews coming up if anybody cares or not. But, yeah, it's going to always happen because it's what I do. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching, y'all. And Mezco, get your shit together. Anyways, uh, once again, thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good one. All right, later.